This is a good news story, but I need you to prepare for a small rant because of at the end. So just be ready for that one. Be ready to click in the last 30 seconds of the video. But Gabby Petito's dad is combating what's called missing white woman syndrome with a new TV series that's focusing on marginalized communities. We've talked about this before, but it's now coming to fruition. The father of the late Gabby Petito, Joe, is launching a television series with the title Faces of the Missing. This will address the needs of more actual coverage by the media who disproportionately not focus on missing women who are not white. This is known as missing white woman syndrome, and we'll get back to that in a moment. The series aims to shed light on those missing persons of marginalized communities that aren't getting to media appearance. Uh, now, Petito disappeared in 2021 and turned to a large, widespread media coverage on this beautiful, cute little white girl living the van life, doing whatever, and people trying to look for her when we found out it was just a, a fruitless case of looking for her. She was already killed by her boyfriend. The problem was, as this case became more nationally known, and many cases like this one become nationally known, we get little snippets of, what about this black girl? What about this Hispanic girl? What about these Asian people? What about this guy here? If they're not a white woman, they don't get a lot of media coverage because I'll let you, you know, your imagination take that into case. And the Gabby Petito Foundation, formed by the family of Gabby, uh, was supposed to do some help for that. Number one, raise awareness of domestic violence and advocate for improved policies for everyone to include making sure people who are marginalized are covered in that policy, not just a quick smattering of, oh, this cute little white girl uh, got kidnapped and, and had, had harm done. Let's think about it for about 20 minutes and then go to something else. They are trying to fight to make sure you're thinking about this all the time. And through the show called Faces of the Missing, Joe's going to generate more attention for missing persons of color whose cases are overlooked. He hopes his efforts will make his daughter proud by creating significant change and drawing attention to those who are often neglected, not seen as newsworthy for various reasons. Here comes the rant. This is a good story. This is a great story. This is a story that raises us all up. The problem with stories like this or the reason why this story like this happens is because there's this feeling that we don't want people to feel bad about something this is a bad terrible story and we felt terrible about the loss of gabby petito but we don't want people to feel bad because she got attention and no one else did that's a problem more people should get more attention she should got all the attention in the world but more people should have got attention in missing cases as well that's the rant. White, this, this white people syndrome thing that people see, uh, missing white girl syndrome, when someone sees uh, you know, this happening and they get all into it and news covers it like crazy, is an issue because people go missing all the time. Young black girls, young Latino girls, they go missing, they deal with domestic abuse, they deal with it all the time. And it only becomes a national headline, A, someone dies, and B, it's a beautiful white girl, Natalie H Holloway. Uh, a extreme example of this from way back when, when many other young women went missing in various places under various odd circumstances, and she took all the oxygen out, out of the room for anyone else getting any coverage because the story was the story people want to go with. Don't get so caught up in not feeling bad. And yes, this overcomes a whole lot of other things we, we do so that people, and I'm not going to say who, don't feel bad about things that actually are going on. Don't get so wrapped up in not feeling bad that you miss the point that the bad feelings lead to change, fixes and things, and hope for others who won't go through the same things.